Hey y'all, welcome to the Penny Pinching Prepper channel. Thanks for stopping on by today and uh, guys, if you're familiar with my work and you enjoy my videos, do me a favor, get down there, smash that thumbs up for me, would you please? Be much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, stick around, check out what I got to offer, and if you like it, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, eh, you know, it, it helps, it really does, guys. Um, today, got a new fire tender for y'all, no, new of mine anyways, it's been out for a while now, but, uh, if you're, uh, new to this channel, guys, the way it usually works is, um, this is a DIY channel, I do a lot of projects and stuff on my own, um, I take products that are out there, I figure out a way to, to make them, hopefully make them better, and uh, share that with you guys so you can save a penny and get a decent uh, product. Um, so if the link for the part two to this video is not down below, that means subscribe and look for it at the end of the week. So without any uh, further ado, this is the product today, all right? Doesn't look like much, I know. But, there's this new product, well, kind of new, it's been out for a little while now, but it's called uh, Pyro Putty, alright? It's, it's got its purpose, it's really interesting, um, you know, you can stick it to things, um, if you're using a ferro rod, you can actually stick it and it won't go flying everywhere like a lot of tender will, you know, because you come down into it and you hit the tender, it goes flying, this stuff actually will stick to it. You can put it on the end of a stick and use it like a match to, you know, light several things around you. Like if you have a bunch of torches you need to light, you can, you know, take this, put it on the end of a stick and go light all the torches, whatever. It's a really cool product. And But basically what it is, is it's a uh, waxed based putty <clears throat> with fibers in it. Okay, so the, the real pyro putty is a uh, paraffin wax with like a um, paper fiber, uh, a pulp fiber, you know, like what you would use for um, writing paper or toilet paper, the, the fibers that before it's dried and, and put together all nicely, there are these little fibers called pulp fibers. Um, but, uh, which works really good. The stuff works great. It really does serve its purpose, but this is definitely a putty. As you can see, it, it, it will stick to things, you know, it, and, uh, the way I improved on it was you need beeswax instead of paraffin wax. Beeswax burns hotter, it burns longer, and it burns better. Plain and simple, okay? And instead of uh, the pulp fibers, we, or I should say I, um, went ahead, let me get this down here and, and show you. Fat wood guys fat wood is some great stuff and this is some pretty decent fat wood but we turned it into fat wood shavings if you can see this stuff's really fine you know some of it's a little longer than others that's all right it shouldn't be too long but as you can see it's really fine fat wood shavings okay so, just to give you an idea of how it works, I'll show you real quick. So you just take a little bit of it. Guys, that's about the size of a marble. Alright. If you want it to take a spark, you got to kind of crack it open to where it looks all rough. You don't want it being super smooth. When it's super smooth, you can use a lighter or a match to light it and uh, get yourself a really good extender but when you're wanting to use a, a ferro rod you want to 
crack it open so that some of the, the fat wood kind of pokes out. And then, um, then you should be able to light it. Let's, let's see, I'm kind of trying to do this backwards and upside down. So bear with me. But it sparks up with the ferrocenium rod, and it burns really good, and it, it burns for quite a, a long time, guys. Um, does put off a little smoke. It is something that, you know, is definitely meant more for outdoors than indoors, but that's because of the fat wood, not the, uh, the wax. Well, a little bit because of the wax, but mostly because of the fat wood. Fat wood puts off smoke, guys. Um, but the great thing about fat wood is it lasts way longer than just straight wood shavings. Fat wood shavings, you know, three times as long because it's, um, well, fat, if you don't know what fat wood is, it's, it's basically pine wood that has been uh, just filled up with uh, sap. So uh, a lot of times if a tree has been hit by lighting, lightning or it's a dead standing tree or um, a forest fire, you know, there's lots of different reasons where um, the tree will get super hot and all the pitch will drop and settle in valleys and pockets and, um, and then will re-harden inside of the wood and then you get fat wood really good stuff so what what you need for this project if you're interested and in it, it does everything fat wood does or not fat wood uh pyro putty does i mean you can float it on water and catch it on fire on water not that that really means anything because well who's gonna you know start a fire on water but it will do it so you'll need the fat wood shavings. I'll leave a link below to the only place I could find them that had real fat wood shavings, which was on Etsy. Uh, I will leave a link below. Um, if not, you can get your own fat wood the way I did it. Shave it yourself. The way you're going to need to shave it is you'll need a box knife like this where it has the very hard uh, blade on it that has that that angle on it all right not not the flat one not the disposable ones the ones like this all right because these blades are super hard and uh work way better for this project um, another thing you're going to need of course is you can't forget the beeswax guys beeswax is very important all right so get your beeswax you'll also need some turpentine and some boiled linseed oil all right you'll need like a old metal coffee tin or an old pot that you don't mind getting all nasty and dirty and messed up and being just for projects that you'll never want to cook in again <laughs> all right and then uh you'll need some sort of container like this for the fat wood to go into this is where you're going to mix things is in something like this so some sort of disposable um you know takeout dish or dollar tree dish or something that you can do some mixing in and then you'll need some sort of small containers like this all right that's what i got it in um in order to you know store it keep it and all that kind of stuff so guys it's a really super simple project works just as good as pyro putty only I would say better because there's better quality materials going into it but it does everything that pyro putty will do you can make it yourself for a lot cheaper and make it a lot better Guys, if you're interested, stay tuned. At the end of the week, I'll show you how to put it all together and 
uh, show you a couple of different ways that it can be used and all that fun stuff. And uh, on that note, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, and remember, guys, God is good and God bless.